Finally, we have a plugin that will allow you to send alerts and notifications from your HomeKit smart home that are connected to HomeBridge via messenger services and other collaborative tools for free. In this video, it's all about connecting services to HomeBridge. Well, in today's connected world, we are always updated with various online services from our smart home and IoT devices as well. They have literally become invaluable to us both personally and professionally. And thanks to this platform called Notify.Events, this service makes it easy to manage your notifications and events from your monitoring systems, IoT and smart home, website and e-commerce, version control systems, as well as other services. Anyways, if you're into smart home DIY and obviously love the Apple HomeKit ecosystem, then I have done tons of tutorial videos that you can use. So pretty please do take a look and don't feel shy to like, share and subscribe to always follow along. And if there's something I can help you with, feel free to comment as well. And when I have the time, I'll definitely respond. So. Notify.Events reached out to me a couple of months back to collaborate with them and present their platform of services that you can use all through HomeBridge for free, easily subscribe to 45 plus online messenger and collaborative tools all done through their online platform, plus configure the plugin in HomeBridge with no hassles and then get notified on events based on automations done all through HomeKit. So, Basically, with this plugin, you have the opportunity to connect with online services with HomeKit as well as take immediate action from that same service. So for all of this to work and integrate the Notify.Event services into Apple HomeKit, one, you'll definitely need to have a Notify.Event account. Two, a connected active account to some popular online services like Signal, Telegram, Discord, Slack, and from all that uh, they can offer in, in the integration. Then to enable the HomeKit integration, we will be surely using HomeBridge that's already installed in this Argil one case with a Raspberry Pi 4. Plus in the description, I've also added guides on how to install HomeBridge on multiple hardware platforms. As always, I've broken down the video into four parts with the timestamps in the description. They are one, we're going to go through a quick overview of Notified.Events platform. Then two, we're going to see how we're going to do all of the configuration within their platform. Then we will move on to the HomeBridge plugin configuration. And lastly, we'll do a quick demo. So as always, let's not waste any more time and let's jump into this tutorial. So this is the website of Notified.Events and they clearly stand out that they have a service that gives you an opportunity to easily manage your notifications, collect messages and alerts from multiple services and send them to specific recipients of your choice. And clearly within their website, you will see a lot of advantages that they provide that you can use from their service basically for free without any additional charge. So you can aggregate, configure, you can choose which service can receive a message, which platform you want to set up. You can always stay up to date on multiple platforms based on messages. So it can connect and deliver uh, all of the notifications you need based on certain events. And then you can also upgrade on specific plans. Now, some of the usage scenarios that you can use and we will discuss in this video is all related towards smart home. So from his perspective of smart home, you can definitely use it in your current smart home if you have family members on multiple uh, platforms like say iOS and Android and you want to notify them based on certain events. So like through a Telegram group, to a Discord uh, channel or through a uh, Viber group as well. So you can uh, notify all of them. And plus from there, if you have any homes that are in a different location and has home bridge running, you can even get uh, notifications based on events that happen over there who has entered who has left if there's a property that's on rent and as home bridge you can have all of this traceability because it sends you messages you know all of the timestamps when certain things happen and you were notified and from there it also clearly states all of the sources that you can connect for your smartphone so if you have home assistant running you can use this node red 
of course, and Homebridge. So these are all of these sources that you can connect with um, Notify.event. And most importantly, which are the services you can connect to, which they call recipients. There's more than 40 of them. And most of them are popular ones like Telegram, Viber, uh, even your emails, plus other services, Discord, Slack, Microsoft Teams. What's not over here, which is also another popular service, um, WhatsApp. So um, don't know when it'll be there or it'll ever be there. So, but these are all the services that you can take advantage of it right now and then from there the most important question is what is the cost now from a homeowner perspective you get 300 messages that their uh, service sends for free which i think is more than adequate enough for your smart home but just in case you want to take advantage based on the other monitoring systems or other services you want to connect to they also have subscription plans based on an individual team or even at a enterprise level and as you're watching this video, I was able to co collaborate with them and generate a um, referral code that you can use right now, just in case if you want to uh, use a subscription plan. One, you get a 10% cash back on all deposits during the first month. Uh, these funds can be spent on paid uh, subscriptions, plan payments, and out of plan uh, messages as well. Two, on your first payment with this referral code, you will receive 50% plus messages uh, to any play plan. So these bonus messages will never expire and they will automatically start being used once you run out of your uh, payment plan messages. And lastly, this referral code is going to be active until 30th May 2022. And uh, when you sign up for uh, the, with the referral code, it also assists with the channel. So do take a look test drive it and if you uh, pass more than 300 messages use that reserve referral code and take advantage of their platform from there additionally you also get additional services where you can receive sms that has a cost or even a phone call so that's basically notify.events platform so let's let's go and configure and add in a source which is going to be homebridge connected with some recipients, which could be Telegram or an email. And then from there, how we can bring it all to Homebridge as well as HomeKit. So next one, let's go ahead and um, sign up for a account. So you want to go up and create a login ID, email, password, choose your country and use that referral code that's in the description. Now I've already gone ahead and signed up for an account. So let's go in and sign in. Now you're greeted with this page and what you want to do first is create a channel. So let's go ahead and create a channel called Homebridge. You can create any one based on, on notifications or events. So in this case, I'm just going to leave it as Homebridge and I'm going to disable the allow public subscription because I want to keep it to my account as well. And if you want to use the other services, this is the right time to choose them. Now let's go ahead and click on save. Now, once you click on save, your channel is created. The first thing you have to do is go ahead and add in a source. So let's click on source. And we're going to go to IoT and Smart Home, Homebridge, and you want to give a title. We're going to leave it as it is, and we're going to click on next. Now, when you click on next, it's going to generate a token, which will come back and uh, copy this when we go into the plugin configuration. Now let's go and click on done. Now, once it is done, your channel is created, you've got a source. Now let's go and connect it with certain recipients or services. So what we're gonna do first is click on subscribe. So we're gonna go and connect with the Telegram source and we're going to click on notify.events bot, which will open up Telegram. We're going to click on start and then let's go back. We're going to go to the channel and we're going to subscribe to this token. So let's copy this. We're going to go to Telegram and we're going to paste it. So once this is done, this service clearly confirms that it's working and connected with your Homebridge channel. Now, if I go back to my Homebridge channel, you will see that it's active. So you can filter, you can even add a private chat. Now let's go add in one more service, which is your email. So we're going to click on email, click on subscribe. Once you click on subscribe, you will receive an email which you have to approve of. So let me go back. 
you have to give it a couple of seconds to receive that email so if you heard that chime so once you receive it that's the email you just want to follow the link and you'll see this notification so let's go back to the channel home bridge you'll see that these services recipients have been connected now this part is finished so we've basically configured the platform very simple to connect uh, with these two recipients or services and also adding a source now if you want you can also go ahead and create multiple channels based on events that you can connect with certain services at a specific time or a specific group or to a specific people the choice is yours but just for demo's sake which is going to keep this very limited now once this is completed the next we're going to do is go into homebridge and start the configuration so let's log into homebridge let's click on plugins and let's type here notify enter and these are the plugins that shows up but this is the one that we're going to install so let's click on install give it a couple of seconds and then we will go into configuration now once it's installed you'll be presented with this configuration page now there are two parts of this configuration that we're going to see and it's important for the uh, plugin to work the first part is adding in the channels so if you created multiple channels we have to add in all of them together with their recipients that are connected within uh, each of them so you want to uh, take note of that but in this case since we already created one channel we're going to add in that information over here and create messages based on that so what we're going to do is we're going to name it so we're going to call it home bridge or you can even name it based on the event and for the token we're going to go to the channel web page click on view and we're going to copy the token here and go back to configuration and we're going to create an accessory name so we're going to call this youtube message title give it a text so this text can be formatted based on html if you want to use it for your uh, group chats or any business use and you can even give it a priority for sending the message so i'm going to leave it as it is as info now the second part of this configuration is how to interact back with the homebridge interface right from that chat service so in this case the two recipients that we connected was the email so how do we interact back and also telegram so to do that you have to enable actions within your configuration and what you want to do is you want to add in your external host and port forwarding so this is a little bit uh, complex if you want to uh, interact back with the service so in this case if you don't want no worries just type in the four uh, zero dot zero dot zero leave it uh, as it is and if you want to take advantage from the service to connect back into a home bridge instance then you need to enable port forwarding in your router i was not able to get through it because uh, i'm in a rented apartment and i've got two routers one is for my own personal use and the one product for my isp so i was not able to get this to function well but i've seen a demo and it works perfectly so you want to enable port forwarding within your router and also add in your external host if you don't have this information it's fine just leave it 0.0.0.0 so once that's completed you're going to click on save and then you want to go ahead and restart the service now once the uh, service is restarted you will see that the it's starting on port 53535 and listening for host so since we didn't have configure any external host inf information it's going to be listening on that one and if you go to accessories you will see that it's created this switch called youtube now if you want you can go ahead and create more accessory names the choice is yours based on what messages you want to send within that channel that you created and which recipient should be receiving it if you have more channels you can go ahead so now what we're going to do is we're going to quickly do a demo on how this whole thing works so i'm just going to move this to the right and i'm going to open up home kit and i'm just going to create a very simple automation the moment the light behind me goes off send me a text so going to automation click on new automation and when an accessory is controlled so i'm going to go to 
git man next turns off now this is where the magic is i'm going to call for that switch called youtube next turn it on see done so let's see if it works i'm just going to keep telegram to the right and i'm going to turn this off that's the message over here so don't forget to like and subscribe so it works so you can see that message coming on as soon as i turned off that light so let's try again you see you also see that it calls for the switch so that's how it pushed in that switch and that message through that now if i go back to the settings to notify.events one of the things what we can do is over oh, add in action so if you had an external host enabled with the port forwarding you can give it in as okay that's the title click on save restart it now what is going to happen in this next example you're going to add in a tile that you can interact from telegram back to home bridge but it won't work in our case because we haven't enabled the external host or neither the port forwarding so let's give it a couple of seconds so you, once the service restarts you will see one more button that was created click now so if you had the external host active you would be able to call back that switch straight from home kit so let's go again to telegram turn off that light you see that message that's right down and you can even now interact that would connect with home bridge that's there so with that you get the advantage of interacting back to home kit if you enable the external host together with the port forwarding so you can run furthermore actions right through the messenger service and if you had uh, email services you will see that you received emails that you can uh, follow the link plus also click on the link over here to take further actions all through the email so basically it gives you that opportunity to interact back with your instance using bots and um, collaborative tools that you can connect with in it it's very easy and just like that you can use the notify.events platform to easily manage your notifications and events for your i2 devices in homebridge as well as your smart home as well as easily subscribe to online messenger and collaborative tools all through the online platform for free anyways i have left a list of homebridge tutorials that you can use right now feel free to check them out and don't feel shy to like the video and subscribe as well and if there's anything i can help you with don't feel shy to leave a comment down below so until the next time my friends have a nice day stay safe and cheers